table. Where's the end? Gigaparse has set up a 5% off offer code for all my tankers out there. And look at all these amazing and missing Poloni cables that they're offering with it. Use discount code TANK while checking out to get 5% off and to help support the channel. Today is a very special day. I got a box from Italy! All the way from Italy! It came to me! And we are going to be going through it and I'm going to be breaking it down for you. From MMP? I wonder what it could be! <laughs> yes! I wanted to pull out the cables and go through them one by one to tell you why I chose the particular cable for the job I'm going to have it to do. A lot of people throw stats at you like me and Mike did, show you how to look them up and how to tweak things for your use case, but we really didn't break down what those use cases are. So I'm gonna to try to do that for you and show you what I got in the box. One thing I do highly recommend, go to Messi and Poli's website and download their catalog. It's under data sheets. It has a lot of great information and we'll be looking over here shortly. Let's just start with what's on top. Oof, that's heavy. We got here, Ultra Flex 10. This Ultra Flex 10 is a thick cable as you can see there compared to my finger it has it's stranded and has all the messy and poloni goodies inside let's turn to the ultra flex 10 and we're going to look at this table here this table is showing us losses over a certain number of feet or meters and then it shows us the frequencies down this left column i chose this ultra flex 10 cable for UHF and VHF. If we go to those frequencies in the chart here, we have 70 and two meters, and this is gonna show us a loss at five meters or 16 feet of 10%. 10% of that power you put into the cable is not gonna, it's gonna be lost to heat. And over a 32 foot run, you're gonna lose 19%. So that means on a 49 foot run, running 70 centimeters at 100 watts, you're going to lose 26 watts. That's 26 watts are going to be dissipated in heat in your cable and you can do nothing about it. The thicker cable you get, you're going to lose less. For comparisons, go to the Ultraflex 7, which is a thinner cable. Let's look at the same chart for 70 centimeters. At 16 feet, it is losing another 4% in heat. If we go to the 49 foot run, it is down to a 65% ratio. So that means at 100 watts, you're gonna be losing 35 watts to heat. So that's why I upgraded and I got the thicker cable. At the higher frequencies, or lower frequencies depending how you look at it, you're not going to lose as much to the heat. So on HF, let's look at the 20 meter band. At 49 foot run, you're only going to lose 5% to heat. Well, it's like 5.6, but who's really counting the, the points? I'm, I'm rounding here. You're going to lose 5% um, to the heat. So at 100 watts, you're only going to lose 5 watts at 49 feet. Back to comparisons for the Ultraflex 7, for two meters, we're, we're losing another four watts at 50 feet. That's, that's not that bad, but when you're talking about UHF and VHF, you really want the thicker cables, and that's why I got the Ultraflex 10 here. What's next in the box? What is this? What is this? Blah, 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 ooh. So this is Extraflex Berry 7. For comparisons, this is a thinner cable and it's very flexible as we can see here. Whee! Because it's HF, we don't really need a thick cable, so I went with the seven. Now, the berry part. A awesome thing Messi and Poloni has is a Pacific cables that you can bury, or made to be buried, that can withstand water entering the jacket. And that's why I got the berry, because I'm gonna put this in a conduit underground. What else do we have? Whoa! Oh boy, oh boy, 
plate. For all my HF runs, inside I got this big ol' hunkin' mass of cables. Same reason supply why I got the 7 over the 10 is the losses on HF are much, much lesser than UHF and VHF, and you could go with a smaller cable. So that's why I got the 7. And I got a lot of it. I think this is 200 feet. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to do this. Ugh, these are heavy. See here. Uh, this is the Hyperflex 10 Sierra. This is a white cable made to be in direct sun in high heats. So this is gonna go on top of my roof. And this is why I chose it, because it's gonna go up high in the Texas heat and it's gonna be sun beaten all day. I stayed with the 10 series of cable because it is the same thickness as the Ultraflex 10. And uh, you want to stay with the same cable properties through the whole run. I thought about going, because this is going to be a much shorter run, up to the chimney for the UHF VHF antenna. And went with, was thinking about going with a 7. But there is weird conversion things that happen when you go from a thicker cable to a smaller cable. And I wanted to minimize those, so I stuck with a 10. And, Sierra, just look, look at that. Oof. And I love these Velcros. Finally, the fun part. The connectors. These are the Messi and Poloni connectors that everyone's been talking about. Why do you staple a good bag? This is my, this is the reason why I fell in love with Messi and Poloni. Can, they do have amazing cables, so much better than the other brands out there, but no one makes connectors like these. I think this is a 7 connector to a normal UHF and VHF jack. So let me just take this apart real fast and show you why. First, there is this gasket around the screw here to prevent water from entering your cables at the connection point. Help to prevent. Here is your one solder point where you're going to solder the cable into the connector and the rest of this is just screw on. So a small solder point, you put the cable in, you solder here and that's it. Everything else is screw on. You put that on, which I'm going to be doing a video on this later. Put that with the cable that goes on the cable to help separate it. Here is another gasket they have to help prevent uh, moisture and water from entering. And that will go there and it will all just screw together. I, 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 I love this, I love this. This is the best design for a connector and I can't wait to start putting all this together. I have a lot of connectors like this. There is just a whole bag of connectors. In this other bag, they also have angle connectors so what I'm gonna use this for is in the wall the cable is gonna come down in the wall and I'm gonna put this connector on it and then I'm gonna screw this the patch plate to the other side where you're gonna have another screw so you're not gonna to have to try to bend your cable awkwardly you're not gonna to have to try to bend your cable at a weird 90 degrees in the wall I don't even want to kink this I this is too beautiful a cable to kink so that's what this connector is about. You're just going to screw in there and it's the wall drop is just going to come down angle into the patch panel so you don't have to try to bend your wire. Same kind of con uh, protections they have built in here. Here's your rubber gasket on the outside. Here's your inner gasket. I think this comes apart. I need to read the instructions for this somehow to get the cable inside there. But this is going to be fun. I don't think Mike has done a build on this. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll be first. Ah, a cool microfiber cloth. Here's the connectors for the Ultra Flex 10. Same thing. And I believe I also have angle connectors for them. Well, that's it. That's all the goodies. 
This is how I figured out how to do everything and I really recommend you do it. Figure out how, how the lengths are and how many connectors are. So I just drew a diagram, which I have my lost space, which I measured from wall to wall, which is 12 feet. And then my other room, which I call storage room, which we are in the storage room right now, which is 11 feet. Then I measured the heights of my house and the height of my chimney. And finally the lawn space. Then I did all this math, adding everything together, coming up how much of things I need in the lengths. Then I simplified my drawings to runs. So this is going to be a whole cable run. And then I just counted for every connection point, you need two connectors for that cable. So I counted all those and I did more math down here. I messed up some math and I redid it. And that's how I figured out how many of what I needed from all my cables. You really need to do this and plan your setup so you know how long are the cables to get, what type of cables to get, and how many connectors you need for that cable. Because the last thing you need is on build day, you run out of cables. So I am gonna go through this box one more time and count the things and make sure I have everything. So until next time y'all, go forth and conquer. You can help support the channel by Patreon or YouTube memberships. Links in the description below. And a thank you to all my supporters. Go forth and conquer.